happening folks and welcome to another episode of Rebuilding Sunderland. Don't forget, don't forget to hit the like button down below, help support the channel and help the algorithm find our videos and subscribe if you're new as well. Down below are links to my second channel, social media links and podcast as well. So today we're on the page of John Torrell. Um, a new signing that I can't remember if I showed you that I'd signed him. I generally can't remember. Um, signed him for 500k. Um, from Birmingham, actually. Uh, just liking the passing and technique and dribbling and first touch and long shots. And I think he's a decent all-rounded player. Um, just, again, we're kind of budget, so I'm not great at these kind of things. I have more expenditure to, to throw out there. But I thought, you know what? He has a bit of depth to the squad. He could do a good... He might do a decent job for us. Uh, he could do, maybe he, he could be all right. Next player was a free transfer that they kept bringing up in my, in my scouting report. So... Let's check him out as well. Eric Junior Dina Mbebe, uh, a French midfielder who's got more names than I've ever seen in a player in my club. I, I managed, I think. The reason signing Sky was determination, the stamina, the sh acceleration, not great pace though, unfortunately. But passing te passing and first touch and technique weren't bad. Again, he could he could develop into an even better player. Um, so, yeah, free transfer as well. It's not... I, it, if you, had, if you had like 12 for 14 pace, something like that, it'd be a perfect player, wouldn't it? But he's not quite there. But he might develop a bit more pace as he gets older. But a free transfer, um, cannot really complain too much. So, games on camera. Um, mixed is probably a fair way to put this. We lost well to Birmingham. And there, another now defeat in the championship. Um, a game we could have got a draw out of, I think. They had a high goals expectation ratio. But I felt again that just we were just not. It wasn't quite going for us in this game. But again, it's now a defeat. It's not a massive defeat. If we can just find a way to get the want goals out of the team, then we can get cracking, can't we? We found one again though against Cardiff, three two. And when Walcott went through on goal here and scored this, I thought we we're going to be in for another bad game. I thought here we go. Birmingham were below us in the Cardiff, so we we're, were below us in the table. Sorry, at this point in it, at kicking off, and I thought here we go again. Not. Not this uh, bad run again. Great ball through to Cummings here, who placed it back in the net for a goal for, that goal for him. That he desperately needed in this match. Um, then Cresswell with a wonderful free kick. Maybe keep it going better. It depends how you, how you want to look at it. And then we kicked on and got a third, um, which is fantastic. Henry got the ball. He found um, Cresswell. Cresswell running through. Good ball through to Fred, who fires it in at the far post. They get 3 two, three one sorry. They got goal right at the end, which they don't think they really deserved, but, really, but it, made it, it made it a bit edgy for us at the end, just because I was very nervous. And these games, it's unfortunate it fell to him for 3-2. But after a few games of narrow defeats, uh, it was nice to get three points on the board and score three goals. We then got a draw against Derby County. Which was, I think, a very fortunate draw based on how the game went. Again, straight at the goalkeeper. Maybe couldn't have better with it on looking at, looking at it in 3D. We got a late draw with a goal here, which, again, from the main man, really, it, it fell to Freddie, banged it in for an equaliser. Um, again, there's a lot of goals seem to be bounces and tackles, both for and against us. A draw... We got more of the ball. I think the issue with this team is not conceding. It's just the final third. And I think that's what we need to try. And, that's, I think the more I play this, that's what I'm re realising. We lost to West Bromwich Albion in the Carabao Cup on penalties. It's not going to show the highlights because penalties take forever to get through. Um, yeah, again, just they were the better team. Just about. But we competed against a, high, uh, a decent side and... Another day, maybe we get a bit more luck. Penalties were penalties penalties down to look into it the end of the day. And unfortunately it didn't go our way in that match. We lost three one to Brighton, but based on the fact that they're a Premier League side coming down from the Premier League, it wasn't a big surprise. That's a bit that's just lack of awareness defending their defending. But even though it 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 was a it was a three one scoreline, at times we held in we held in there and we maybe another day we get Something out of it. Um, I think the third goal they scored. When you'll see here, we we get we, we get we did get one back. Um, Cummings running for a goal here, and nicely Cummings didn't get a couple of goals recently, just to try and get some confidence back in, the, in, in his in his play. But the third goal was down to fact it was late on. I was trying to push for a bit more to try and get them for some back. And just straight ball at the top again. That's definitely still a thing um, with this tactic. That is something I can't really work out what to what to do. But again, it's Brighton. They are a Premier League side that came down, so we're not really expected to get there. And the fact that it was a competitive game until the 39th minute, I suppose you could argue is encouraging. 
So we need to take, we're 20th in the table and we're playing Portsmouth today. A win, we, we, we need to get a couple of wins, three or four wins, just to move us up mid table and get us out of this relegation zone. We, we still got a good margin of good margin over the guys below. I think we're better than the teams below us. We just need to just work out what it is that's stopping this team from scoring goals um, consistently. Uh, but, or at least, not say consistently. We do score often a goal again, but we just don't score enough. Then three, we, we scored in the last three games in the league, so that's good. But it's just you see one one there, one nil defeat there, one one. It, 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 it's very rare we score more than one goal in the match. So today we've got games against uh, Portsmouth and Stoke, who are currently Portsmouth are basically just right b above us. So we win that game, we go above them in the table, and Stoke are mid table. So these are the kind of games we we look and looking at as yeah, these are the kind of games we can maybe get some points in. Um, if we are just a bit better uh, in the final third. So, um, tactics, I'll sort those out off camera and I'll come back to you when we're ready. Right, so all ready to go. Let's see if we can get away. I mean, it's same with the performance there, but I think you got, you got I think they, they, they might they need to understand who we were playing against there in that last game. It was, it was Brighton. They got relegated. They're a premiership side, essentially. Um, well, other than not being Premier League, if you get what I mean. Like, you know, they're not a bad side. They are just basically they, they 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 got relegated last year, so you know the odds would be odd, they're probably favourites to go back up. But these are the kind of games I think maybe we can maybe hopefully get something from. That this one's right right, right, right there. Really, I look at the space he's got on the right hand side here in the box. To what save that is comes out again offside. No, he's not. It's in. But that's the kind of thing it is. It, it's scrappy goals that those don't go for us. One 0 Portsmouth and based on our goal scoring record. I mean. He's possibly marking him, and he just let him go. And then we just don't react. And he don't react to the loose ball going out there. And we don't like that to the balls of the far post and one will pump it. And yep, here we go again. <laughs> Burge with a goal kick, well free kick, long ball at the pitch, and we keep doing that. Same we go more direct with lump balls forward, and no, and we and we can't keep possession at all. Long ball again. Jacobs gets under control. Jacobs has been a nightmare for us today. Jacobs cuts inside. Again, someone tackle this guy before he runs straight for... Oh, no, man. He's straight for anyway. <sighs> just, we can't get close to people in midfield, and that is something that I think we just have to accept. Try and win the header, mate. That might be an idea. Lewitt. Jacobs. Oh, they're in again here. Shot comes in, and I don't think we're going to stay up. I really don't think... If we can't beat teams like Pompey around this league, I don't think we're staying up. Oh dear. Just no matter what I try, nothing's working at the minute. We can't keep possession. We can't get the goals. And we just feel like every time the team goes forward today. I mean, again, it's no goal that's bounced on somebody and gone back to them. I mean, that's like four or five inches in the. I don't. I, this, is, this is not ominous. This team has zero kind of uh, goal threat at the minute. Time so kind of complaining about the scoreline. We've been absolutely garbage. Um, we just can't. We we keep we get we we get a lot of the ball, and don't create anything or go along or lose the ball completely. We're going going more direct. Nothing works. Um, ah, this is why I don't like these saves. Unfortunately, I just really struggle when this happens in this, in this division. Hopefully, we can do something second half, but it's not looking good. Not looking good and based on the first half performance. Williams, yeah, Torre. Thinks it forward. Clowen. Shoot! Go back! It's that kind of goal we're going to score, isn't it? A long-range belting strike from nowhere. We got one back. Um, it's a great hit, to be fair. I would not going to lie. When he plays the cross by Arturo, I thought here it, it was going to get intercepted. But then he sees he does not get there quick enough. And he has a shot. Pot shot from long range. And he gets the he gets the goal back. Long way back to get a win in this game. But at least it's a goal. Something, to, something positive, isn't it? Clorin. Yeah, Arturo. Fred. Yeah, Arturo. Out wide to Cresswell. Bit of space now. Williams. Back out to Cresswell. Williams with Will. In front here. Williams with a chance here. Just wish he could have run a bit further, run a bit, run a bit further in. Cresswell. Throws into Henry. Henry. Cresswell gets it back. Cresswell. Can't find a ball in the box. He's found Yara Torre the edge of it. Henry. Turns and shoots. And it's it's a nice idea, but it's really, it's a weak attempt. And the keeper is easily going to read that. And he's not got long with this, isn't it? And I worry about our long on ball defending. There we go. We don't win headers in the air there. Jacobs is through on goal on this side. Jacobs is through. Yeah, we don't have to win this game, but we might be able to nick a draw if we can just get one good chance to somebody. Forget for Brown. And that's game over.
I don't I have a clue what to do <laughs> anymore. Nothing works. Um, I, I mean, I, I had those free kick highlights because they just go, go straight in, and it's just no instant free one to to, to to pump it. This is looking bad. This has got this has got Bradford City series all over it. When that series ended before it even started, because we just don't look like a team who can pass, create, score, or um, anything really right now, and that's that's worrying. Get the ball in the box. So I'm gonna fix it on. See, they're going in for the uh, opponents. That not not going in for us. Corner kick late on. Well, we've we, we lost this game, guys. Now Chris was going to swing this in. Curled in, cleared. It's just I don't think we're good enough. I don't think we're, I don't think we're, good, I don't think we're good enough to win matches in this league consistently. I think we're going to have to hope everyone's worse than us because we we did count. Uh, again that kind of pass. Williams, yeah, Terry, yeah, Terry. Now late in the game, guys. It doesn't really matter now. Can we get one back at least in the box? And there we go. No one's in there, unfortunately. Oh, couldn't get there quickly enough. Well, we deserve to lose that game. We, we were outplayed. Um, we just don't look like a team who's got any kind of ability or confidence in, the, in their play to score goals at the minute. Um, not a performance out there yet. But it's not surprising. I just... If we somehow stay up, I'd be amazed based on how we've started. But it's just... That's the first time I generally felt like we've been dominating the game um, and absolutely and, and deservedly thrashed. But anyway, next game... We move on to Stoke. Hopefully something can change there. Right. Match number two, folks. Here we go again. Um, hopefully we can find some form. Obviously, Flanagan back in the team is a big boost for us. He's a bit, he's a bit third centre back uh, uh, along, alongside um, Jordi. Um, I don't know. Uh, we're underdogs. We're huge underdogs. I don't know. I really don't know anymore. I'm resigned to myself that it can't get any worse. We can't win games, we can't score goals, we can't get clean sheets. So it can't get any worse than that, can it? So that's a positive side. But at least, hey, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm, I'm not sticking to a big team saves. We're having a crack at it, folks. And already we're down the three down the left-hand side. Oh, please don't. Okay, goal kick. Thank you. Good clearance. Williams takes it on. Cummings got the ball. Cummings, can he beat his man? No, he can't. Finds Williams instead down, down, down the left. Can he? Can he beat his man? Sort of. In the box. Chance here! Oh, just not gone. <laughs> he just won't fall for us in that penalty area, will it? Another, 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 another day that falls to the easy tapping for us, doesn't it? And we're not even looking alert to this long ball. Brown the ball now. Oh, don't you dare. Bird saves it. But another day that that ball in the box def deflects in the net for us, doesn't it? And just not today. Corner kick for Weldling to curl into the penalty area. Yeah, and it's cleared. Ruin the defence. Coming to his throw and goal. Can he finish it? Oh, he rushed a shot. Nelson, Etbo, again, too many. Again, the main little bit of movement was no one tracking runners. Brown the penalty, here, and that's a penalty. Oh no, it is a penalty. Again, just diving in and not tracking runners, and this is a goal for Stoke. And it, we, you don't say penalties on a goalkeeper. Oh, he does now though. Well done. Um, just don't. I'm not. I've had a bit bad run, run on penalty recently. No one says I'm a penalty, penalties for me on even any, any of my saves. So that's encouraging. Um, but yeah. It's again the same story again. We look more like it's like a good score today, but we don't look like we're gonna score many. Half time, and it's better than the last game, but we're not creating enough opportunities. Um, I'm just trying to get the morale high and see if that makes a difference. I'm, I'm, I keep changing the passing. I'm not. I can't decide if it's the passing that's the problem or it's just simply the fact that. Um, we're just not good enough. Um, simply put. Hopefully we can nick a goal. I think we do a bit of luck um, because we've been lucky with some of the goals we can see recently. Like, I mean, there's half chances or the big flicks that have gone against us. It's Fred on the right hand side trying to do that for us now, and he's gone. That is the that, that I don't know what he's trying to do there. Um, that pass was just absolutely bizarre. Queens wins it. Fred, run it. Can he find a pass through to somebody? Cummings made a run there. Didn't find him. Fred shoots. And that sums it up, really. Just didn't find, couldn't find Cummings and the chance was, was gone then. Yara Torre. The passing from Yara Torre there, that is disgraceful compared to his quality. And again, now we're completely exposed now. We're, we're counter-attack. Fraser's throwing goal here. Is it a cross? Chance here. Rebound. And we just get it clear. But we're not a team in any confidence. However. That's, you, can, you can see it on the pitch. They're just they're walking around the pitch. There's no kind of energy in them. Tyrum. Down the left. Give it a dinks it in. Volley comes in. And there we go. We, we we have no threat in attacking third. And 
I don't know how to change that. We just we we, we are slow on the pitch. We are slow on the attack. We pick wrong options out. It's going to be. I think it's going to. I mean, that's just poor marking. That it's a great finish, but no one gets tight to him. No one realizes he's moved back to go with him and one down the stoke. Here we go. Here we here we go again. One goal is not to beat us usually because we we don't score. Well, to be a space. With football. I give up. <laughs> uh, I can see where this is going. I have no clue what to do here now. We are just passive, 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 passive. There's this zero. The, 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 the close games we had before have now disappeared. Look at that. There's three guys there. No one's tracking the runner there. I don't know what for me. I, I, I just don't think we can sit back against teams and break either. So I think we're in trouble um, where this is going. Well, I can't complain again. We're not playing well enough. Um, this team has zero ability to pass the ball, or create anything, and I think I don't know where to go from here. I really don't because nothing's working. Um, nothing is working. The training I'm trying to do with them is, and we, we just we, and we deserve to lose games. It's not unluckiness or bad match engine or anything like that. It's just we're playing absolute garbage, and I cannot get a tune out of them. Um, and how we're still on the game, I have no clue. Um, and yeah, we just cannot pass, create, score, or defend. And that is a recipe for one thing, isn't it? Unfortunately, that is relegation. And next game against Swansea. Just can't see when I cannot see where win comes from. It's it's now three defeats in a row in the league. We've won two games all season in the league. And I just think we are going I just I have no clue what to do. I have no clue what to do at this point. Um I'm at the point where I think Ronald Brink are getting sacked because I I just think this is going to go down one way down the Swanee, uh, unfortunately. So next episode, uh, Luton and Bristol City, where are they? Um, again, above us. Who's, who's not above us? Though? That's the thing. Um, yeah, I'll come back um, for move on with not not done with Brom games. I'm quite sure that they'll beat us. Um, yeah, we'll do um, Luton and Bristol City. I think two home games. Maybe that'd be better for us. So yeah, I will see you for that. Um, to try and get some points, but not looking good, is it? Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button as well, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.